look, this is a matchup that Tai Lu should be winning every time. Hmm. So I like that they're going to be playing Train and Vertigo. This is a good opportunity for Tai Lu to actually work on some of those fringe maps, which I think, you know, might be on the shakier side. I know Overpass is very solid for them. Yes, they can play Mirage or Inferno. They've got a lot of good maps under their belt. They tried to adapt Nuke into their map pool. It didn't work out so well for them. That means that they need to make sure Train and Vertigo are solid, and they're going to be playing both of them in this series. It's going to be good practice. Push on Ivy here. Annihilation holding the line. Of course, somebody wide peeks into the crouch. Instant 1B. One man advantage for Tai Lu. And D13 going to pick up the pace into inner. Oh, and that prog smoke is there and slowly goes for the reload, which will allow the timing for D13 to make their way to site. Flashes as well, assisting the whole way through. Summer finishes that one off with the wall back onto Tamir. Is now he's going to be able to come in on the flank. It's actually a two man flank as the boys try to hold it down over towards the halls. World Peace and Hastika only one apiece. As now it's all up to World Peace to try to clutch it, but attacker is too sharp here. Tyloo three alive at the end of the round on the retake and take the CT pistol. Well, it's a good start for Tai Lu. It's kind of what we want to see, if I'm being honest. I don't really want to see Tai Lu sort of playing with their food, so to speak. I would prefer to see this match actually go quite cleanly their way. I mean, I, I like watching the Mongolian region. I think there's a lot of talent there. Uh, you know, I've been very impressed with a lot of the teams that they've been able to put together. I mean, Tiger had its moments. This D13 roster certainly had its moments. There was a team called Checkmate that we saw a little bit in the last couple of months, and they were doing pretty well as well. So I think there's a depth of talent within the Mongolian region, but if we are to consider Tai Lu the, the pinnacle of Asian Counter-Strike, you do kind of want to see them sweeping these kinds of teams aside very comfortably. Well, we'll see if they can do it. So far, looking quite confident in the first round at least. And, of course, the confidence doesn't stop. Somebody continuing to swing. Summer as well. Unfortunately, the man's lost his head. So things are getting a little sticky for Tyler already. Don't want to be losing too many guns on the CT side of train just yet. That's only lost the one so far. And slowly, solid as ever, will take the head off of Shinobi. Attack is there to help out on A as well, and it is just Annihilation, one of the remaining members of the original D13 roster that we got to look at earlier this year. And, and one of the standout players, I thought, from the Mongolian region that we were sort of keeping an eye on. He's alive. He's got a Deagle in hand. He's got Dan King behind him, and he won't be able to do too much there. Two and zero. And Tai Lu running away with Train already. Yeah, very solid start. But D13, they are going to hit back with some AKs as we head into round number three. Let's see if they can get past the unbreakable wall that is Tyloo. Pilski did mention if D13 get 10 rounds, then Tyloo probably isn't playing up to their best standard. We do know Train could be a bit dicey for them, though. They definitely have lost a couple of train games. In fact, they started to ban it in their map pool quite regularly. Oh, slowly banning out World Peace up towards the Brown Halls. Annihilation hits back with a video of his own as we go to the four on three. The stacker on just two HP. Won't have too much to say in this little gunfight. Annihilation takes down Dan King and his attacker and Summer to try to clutch out a third. So much work has already been done for them. Look at the HP on D13. Very low players. Old mate has stickers over there on the outside position, seeing if anyone's pushing through Ivy. Thought he was going to throw some util at some point. Annihilation is spotted out there by attacker. Very split up all over the place at the moment, D13. Seems like a bit of util being thrown toward Inar to create some space for the flank to come through from Hastika. Interesting that Tyloo opt to go for the 1-1 one -one split to... Incredibly experienced players. Attacker and some are probably the most tenured players in this matchup. Somebody also within that discussion. See what Summer can do. It's only 29 seconds here for D13. So if uh, there's one false step from D13, Tyloo's going to win the round. And Attacker is going to lose his teammates just through the smoke. Not able to do anything. Well done from D13. Could have been risky, but they made it look easy. Two to one. First gun round goes the way of D13.
It's actually going to be quite costly for Tyloo's economy as well there. Drops quite low off of the back of that. Solid kills. Solid beginning for D13. Not letting Tyloo get into too much of a lead. And heading the round number four. Tyloo still all bought up. But the weaponry. You've got an MP9 in the hands of somebody and just a deagle for Summer. Nice mid-rounding from D13 that last round. Creating a bit of an opportunity here to reset Tyloo and actually start to get rolling on this T side. Let's see if they can take advantage of that, though. Whether it's going to be a missed opportunity. Windows wide open. They just need to step in. That's a setup. Double up a ramp. D13, bit of pressure around the map. Minimal utility usage. Now coming back towards TCON. Sandwich smoke goes out. What's the play here? Surely some kind of execute. Well, and it will is. be. Three smokes. Three flashes. Two Molotovs. Another flash. Another smoke. Everything's being thrown here from D13. But in the end, attacker, a double kill is a great start for Tyloo. Summer waiting with the Deagles, going to chime in with one as well. And into Sandwich, Azteca is able to trade it down, but not do much more than that. It's mere left, but he won't last long. And Tyloo bounce back. The first gun round went the way of D13. The second to Tyloo. You get shut down pretty uh, straightforwardly. Couple of smokes with, uh, you know, not ideal positioning, giving a couple of angles to some of those Tyloo players, plus a classic Tyloo approach to an execute. You can throw all the smokes you want towards the backside of the train yard, but attacker's just going to push into sandwich, get up in your face. Now the save in from D13. See if they're going to be able to do some damage to Tyloo's money right now. Just on the line, slowly hasn't spotted the cross just yet. So that Shinobi and Annihilation make it look okay because Shinobi trades that one out. So a one for one should maybe favor D13. But even so, Tyloo, they've gone for that early rotation. Some are coming across and able to lend. Not only his gun, but also his utility, if necessary. Bit of a tussle towards Ivy. As now D13 look to send it into ladder. And try to split out towards the A site. Yeah, it's going to be on Tamir's timing. He finds an opportunity here. Ooh. Well, never mind. Yeah, attacker has been in pretty good form since this Tyloo roster was comprised. He's been, you know, back to... Vintage. Yeah, vintage form, really. I, I mean, I think he had quite a dip during the sort of Bentet era. I didn't feel like he was as impactful as an individual. But back to this five Chinese core, he's really stepped it up a notch. As has the rest of Tyloo. Somebody has been great. Some has been great. Uh, and the two new guys into the roster have also been very impressive. But I wonder if there's another level that Tyloo can hit or perhaps will need to be hitting once uh, International Counter-Strike makes its return. Obviously, we're seeing a little bit of that in North America and Europe. Hopefully, Asia gets involved shortly. Ooh, that's quick from Hasteka. Catches somebody off guard a little bit. And so, Tyloo once again playing from a deficit. But they've been generally pretty good at working their way through rounds like this. One man advantage for D13. They've been pretty sensible with how they navigate their way through the mid to late round. Double push in from Tyloo. The boost up on Dan King will set him up to flank SL. No way D13 are ready for this. Shot to the back of Annihilation's head. Ooh, mm. the sound bait. He's going to walk back. Oh, might have gone a bit faster than you expected. Attacker as well. Falling back towards side as World Peace goes back to TCON. Doesn't want to be giving up that bomb control. This is going to be all on Tamir again, I think. Man has made his way into inner. He's going to try and wedge himself behind CT Connector. If he can get himself a 2k and the other two D13 players can entrench themselves in the site, this is a very winnable round here for D13. 
And I think he's found himself in the perfect position. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to see him take that duel from up around. That can be a bit of a sketchy one. If he just sit, yeah sits down here towards the CT side. Definitely win this round. Bomb goes down on the site. Actually, they still have SL being covered. This is a perfect position for D13. Oh, there it is. All the way in the back lines. Tamir holds control, drops the molly, and sends attacker pack in as well. Peace tries to group up with him and set up a nice little crossfire, but attacker just jumps towards the edge of that Molotov. Now it's up to Hesteka to try to clutch, wow. but there it is. Attacker does it all himself. Four kills on the retake. 14 oh, and two. He's 14 and two. We're five rounds in, six rounds in. Oh, my God. Man. Is he the game? D13's, like, they're not playing too badly as far as, like, Counter-Strike fundamentals going. You know, they, they play pretty sensibly. They're making a lot of the right moves where I watch what they're doing on the map or the position that they're in, and I'm like, here's what I think they should do. And then they very quickly go for it. But, like you said last series, John, you can't counter strap brilliance. That is what is being displayed at the moment by attacker. He's just shooting everyone's head off. Sometimes there's not much you can do against that. Yeah, it's rough that T13 suffering this kind of a deficit on their T side of train, but to their credit, they're keeping Tyloo honest. The money hasn't really ballooned out of control just yet. Some of these rounds have been pretty close. And if D13 can flip one over, they might be back into the winner's circle quicker than they would have thought. Tamir has got an AK this time, so he's going to be the one we look to to make the difference. And he is somebodied into oblivion. Mm -hmm. Find the timing, though. These Deagles have definitely been putting in work for D13. Even now, you can see the money of Tyloo is still a little bit on the sketchy side. Another opportunity trying to be taken by Hesteka. He's walked his way out of Sandwich. That's an AK Whoa. and nice taps on towards Ivy. Again, just good timings from D13 being taken. Oh, surely attacker doesn't win a one on three here. Surely not. Bomb still has to be retrieved. The bomb site is in the control of D13, but for how long? Shinobi pushes forward. Attacker not ready for it. That would have surely been the nail in the coffin if attacker just gets another one. You know, I didn't think I would be saying this, and I know that Tyloo's up five to two right now. But I think that D13 are actually outplaying Tyloo right now. You know, they're, they're out positioning them very frequently. You're seeing D13 players just being in superior position, shooting people in the side, shooting people in the back, mm. reading where the gaps are in the CT defense pretty consistently, whether they've got the man advantage or the man disadvantage. And again, here's another opportunity, okay? CT money, very resettable right now, but they have to win the round. Well, ranking starts well. Some are also here to answer some of the questions being asked by D13. And just when you give them a few props, it seems that Tai Lu decide they're not interested in giving D13 much of a chance. Some are on the ladder, not able to land the bullets onto Annihilation. But this could well be a clean one for Tai Lu. Four guns alive, upgrades as well. AKs oh, yeah. go into the hands. Three of them, in fact. And Dan King retains the AWP, so that is exactly what you want to see if you're a Tyloo fan. For sure, yeah. Well, even if you think that D13 is out <laughs> macroing Tyloo, Tyloo is out mechanicing D13. Yeah. That's where it counts sometimes. These damn kids, man. They're just too sharp. Mm. Wait, D13, I think. Is the These Dan team. Kings? Too sharp? Dan Kings? Yep. That's it. All these attackers. Put Tyloo on his back at the moment, 17 and 3. As you do it. Right What's place, this? right time, all the time. And again, you're just going to keep on taking names. Okay. What's this? Attacker liquid media setting. Attacker CSGO settings. <laughs> Somebody. Two nice ones early on. One over towards TCON, one at Ivy. He's just dominating there. From deep at the back of sight. As the last two remaining players on D13 group up, look to try to make their way towards B. They are going to be smoked off at the minute mark. Nothing really to lose in the round. So let's see if they can cause some extra damage and have some fun doing it. Oh, 
Tyler no. says no. Five alive, man. For all the good work T13's been putting in, I think that's a little bit harder of a task now. Mm. At least before they were keeping the rounds close, they were getting a couple of kills with the Deagles. Not yeah. anymore, though. Tai Lu, very strong economy now. Yeah, two really good rounds in a row. Four alive and then five alive. Dan King's getting some work done with the AWP. Starting to feel it. I mean, it's not just Attacker that's fragging anymore. Although he is still putting some pretty unreasonable numbers on the board. And D13 needs someone to step up. Need probably everyone to step up. Mm. Faster play this time from D13 into the B halls, but very quickly. We'll slow things down at the site of the incendiary. Slowly. Looking to play from the top of Pop here, but we'll fall to Summit as Dan King just waits for this smoke to come out and Prog at uppers, flashed off, but able to still have some eyes on. Uh, as the drop does not come down, but slowly certainly does. Just playing from the back of bomb site, wrapping through. Great counter utility. And he will find himself a oh, 3k in well, the end. Love to see the replay of that one from slowly because it just sounded like he just tap tapped. Yeah. Let's have a look here. Tap. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh, transfer. Uh, uh, Mm. It wasn't even a tap tap, it was just a tap. Scra, scra, right into their heads. You ever just scra, pa, pa, pa. bang, skitty, bop, bop, bop. That was, uh, that was slowly right there. Mm. He's a scat man. 19 to 3, you know, eh, no big deal. Yeah, I've done that before. Yeah, uh, cross their size, 3, <laughs> gap minus 1. What was the sense, by the way? Uh, 2.3, 400 DPI. Ooh. He plays his mouse accelerator, though, I think. Oh. <laughs> Is it the secret? <laughs> That's what we've been doing wrong this whole time. Maybe, Maybe. not the only thing. Maybe. Oh. Bit of a pause. D13 trying to figure out what they can do <clears throat> to break the brick wall, which is really what it has felt like. I mean, there's a couple of rounds. Oh, no, he doesn't play with mouse accelerator. Never mind. Gave me a bit of hope. That we would see a closer map here, maybe a closer series, but... No! Somebody's been stabbed in the back. Not for the first time. Love tap. Okay. Well, he made up for it. Azteca trying to find that pick in the early round. Now D13 playing from a disadvantage. Ooh, to me. Going to spot Attacker making his way into Sandwich, and it's a battle of strength, but Attacker is going from strength to strength at the moment. Deep smoke towards the back of Blue, and he is happily going to keep control here over towards Outers. As Shinobi goes for a big rotation, didn't want to get caught all alone. Intikon had to bring this bomb all the way across towards the B site. Calls for that rotate, and Dan King is there to provide some assistance, this time in the form of a leg shot onto Annihilation. I don't know that Slowly necessarily needs assistance at this point, because he's looking pretty solid. Molly's going to force the Bomb Planter off of default, or at least to jump up onto the train. There's nowhere really that he can go. Tai Lu swarming in his direction. Shinobi won't last long. He gets one, doesn't matter. Orp can be retrieved. Oh, Team Ace! High fives all around. There you go. So, up 9 and 2 for Tai Lu. Now, the question really here is, does Dan King need to take his shirt off when they're up 9 and 2? <laughs> mm. That's a pretty solid question. Um, or does he just keep it on? What is the, what's the weather like? Give me, give me a sec. Humidity? Where are, they, are they in... What, what city are they in? Do you know? Not 100%. Oh, uh, no. I'll just type, I'll just search for weather in China. I'd probably, <laughs> mate, China's a big place. Yes. <laughs> I'm like searching for nah, weather, in China. Nah, weather in China. I have been to China, and can I just say the weather varies a lot <laughs> as well. You go a little bit further north, and it's very cold. A bit further south, it's quite warm. Weather in Russia, perhaps? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you know. Look, if I had to make a guess, they're probably in Shanghai, but. Well, I can tell you, it is heating up because right now D13 have been picked apart. Over towards the outer site, 
Tyloo just standing, waiting and tapping everything that moves. Attacker doing so much work and finds two more in this round. Make it a third. I don't know just why we're watching anyone else. <laughs> He's so sharp. Oh, Attack at Kamzar us. There it is. <laughs> 23. You've cast Dude, a curse. As soon as we it's 23 and 4 now. <laughs> Why have you done it? There's... Hastika tries to get anything on the board, but it's going to be oh. somebody to close it. 4 alive at the end and 10 for Tyloo already. Oh. And boys, here in uh, uh, clear with periodic clouds, Beijing, uh, it's only 9 degrees currently. You reckon they're in Beijing? Well, I typed in <laughs> China weather, and it gave me Beijing. I don't reckon they're in Beijing. And we're at oh, I am. I reckon Beijing. they're in Shanghai. So, I reckon it's better, right? If you're further south in China, right? Surely that's better for your latency to the rest of Asia. Probs. So I'd assume so. Well, Shanghai is somewhere ooh. like Guangzhou or Shanghai's like eight something. degrees hotter. How far away are they? They're like next Beijing door, like our, our drive, <laughs> just down the road. How about, are. you know, Mac, you're the one with Google out, mate. <laughs> I don't think they're that close. No. Oh. Oh, that's my orb skin. Okay. I Why used don't to have you that do orb that? skin. Because I don't orb. <laughs> I do that with a rifle. What do you got a skin for then, mate? I don't. I sold it. Ah, uh, okay. That was my, my orb skin. Ah, no. You can sell skin now. <laughs> yeah, you want to buy some? Not from you. And slap you some skin. Oh, man. Three on four. For D13, they found that timing to come onto the Inner's bomb site. And they, you know what? It's not going too badly, actually. Mm, Azteca's has burned a lot in that Molotov. Has to walk all the way up the ladder, and Summer is getting a bit of a taste of what Attacker was throwing at D13. This looks to be 11 to 2. World peace has ended. It's uh, not something you usually have to do doing those vertical flicks in CS. Mm. I had to adjust my sense for that recently, playing a different title. Usually you're doing the, the horizontal shoots. Oh, okay. How long? How way? Oh, oh, yeah. Google it? Maps says that there's no public transport between Beijing and <laughs> Shanghai, which I find ridiculous. It's a no, it's Google Maps. Google Maps, mate. You don't see the issue here. It's a 10 day hike. They don't have Google <laughs> in <laughs> China, Mac. It's a, a one, one day drive. What is it? Baidu Maps or what is it? I can't remember. Yeah, probably. I'm on Google Maps. It's telling me. One day, two hours, 1,262 kilometers. You're like the whitest person I know right <laughs> now. I reckon you could cut some time down if you just went a bit faster. You're the whitest dad. You could break the speed limit. What's, what's, the, what's the rules over there? Google Maps is telling me about China, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god, Tyler is putting on a train masterclass at the moment. But there's no trains between Beijing and Shanghai. Nah, there's no public transport. So how does that work? <laughs> Oh man. How did this get to 12 and 2 all of a sudden? Well, you talk once or twice about China, a few rounds go past, time flies when you're having fun, and here we are, and end we got, of the half, one we, round to go. We've got some time to pass to get to Shanghai from here in Beijing. 24 hours with you guys. You'd love that. In a car. In a car. Shotgun, shotgun! Backseat bandits. Oh, okay. Get do we just do it all in one go and, and do shifts? Pilly, you got your license. Now, all right. right, you can Almost. drive. What I will say here, Mac, drive anyway. Different yeah. country, you know. Just say no, you, got the you know, in America, I went to rent a car, and they're like, "Do you want to drive?" I'm like, "I'm, I'm only a learner driver in Australia." He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna let me drive. Yeah. What a crazy bloke. Who does that? Because you told him you learnt how to drive in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. So Tyloo looking to close out the half, thirteen to two as D thirteen. Look, they have tried to do their best, but Tyloo, well, attacker really, just not letting them have any space to play with. Oh, no. Can't even get past Tcon. The double ult's just ripping them apart. And I think it's about to be D13 too, like you said, Mac. That's going to be the new meme in Twitch chat. I know how you young and sync. D13 too. Ha ha ha. Keck W. Hey, attacker, what are you looking at? Nothing. He died, but someone traded him, so that's okay. Tanking here might have actually a bit of work to do, and it might not be D13-2, it might be D12-3, which is infinitely better, unless slowly wins a 1-on-3, on which is definitely possible, no. especially when they give him 1v1s. How have you done that? Why have you done that? I don't know. Slowly's going to win it. It's going to be D13-2.
Fantastic. Oh. Is it? It is. I had faith. The whole time, slowly wins those. I've seen it before. Dan King still has his shirt on. It's great news across the board for <laughs> everybody in the Twitch chat because the D13 memes are now available, ready to, ready to sell. Anyway, we'll take a break <laughs> and be right back after this. Feeling lost inside inside Thirteen two, the scoreline, and D13, unfortunately, are the team with only two this time. So, untrue to their name, they haven't been able to have a particularly good first half there. To be honest, this is kind of what we expected, Tai Lu to run away with things. Train, traditionally not a map that we see them on a lot, but they are far and away the better team in this matchup, and they are going well on their way to proving that right now. Uh, it doesn't even matter, mate. They could be playing bloody anything right now. They'd, they'd be winning. They're just playing Counter-Strike better. Maps are relevant. Seen Attacker? Somebody asked in the chat if Zwoo is playing for any of these teams. <laughs> he is. Yeah, Zwoo. Z -at Attacker Wu. Yeah, just playing on Attacker's account right now. As we see a bit of a battle unfold, Dan King gets that entry over towards the B site, tries to find another one. It's going to be attacking a giant into Shinobi. World Peace only good for one before falling. And again, Tyler going to have a two-man advantage, make it three, as slowly takes another head off to me. And that's going to be Hastika. Again, last 11-1 on four. Some work done for him. Three of the T's low enough to get a good spam off, but it's from above. Somebody at least goes for the headshot. I thought he might have maybe gone for the knife instead. It's but he like, gives him the respect he deserves. 
It's like watching like an MM game. Essentially, that's what this is. That's what it's like. Why? It's not. Why is it is. It's, this... uh, it's I am Beijing. I know it's I am it Beijing. It is not what you just said. Somebody's I'm not even look it. at what he's doing to him. Yeah. Because he's good. He can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> but he does. But he can. can attacker get the 30 bomb before this map's over? Yep. Maybe they'll drag it out just so he can. I don't like what it's doing. He's very far back. How's he going to get kills back there? Very true. Get in there, mate. Come on. Just down those long angles. Somebody waiting for any aggression from the B site, but that's not going to come through. D13 just holding their ground with Deagles in hand. Shinobi, very close, but Attacker seems to have his number. However, Attacker takes more than he gives in terms of damage. And Summer will finally find First Blood, and yet another just running forward, doing some great work, creating some good space with this Galil. Oh. Over to me, comes in, one dig found, and there might be a chance in the round. Oh, oh my, okay, Dan King goes away, is slowly in Summer, find another. Is yeah. Tamir left last alive? They don't know where Tamir is either. Look at the bomb. It's all the way in the bin. Oh. Oh. Well, that was a little bit too close for comfort. Luckily for Tai Lu, Summer gets himself a 4K in that round, and they're up to 15. So, attack is going to need an ace to finish the map. Uh, Unless Tai Lu loses, but... Um, odds that he aces this round? 10 to 1. Ten to one. I'll pay ten dollars. How much are you willing to put on? I'll put I'll put five. Okay. That's fifty, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll put five on that. An ace to win the map. Or attack how to get a thirty ball. See if you can do it. Hilski can win fifty dollars. I can win five. Well, it's a good start. Dan actually. King's uh, helping him out, making sure he's not taking any frags. There's oh. a good start for attacker. One down, four to go. Get him. How many more can he get? Ah, uh, no more. The easiest five wow. I've ever made. World peace, too powerful with the Deagle. Ooh. He's got himself another. I mean, D13, they're sharp, but... Ty Lu's sharper? It's Ty Lu. Yeah. Got the C4 in towards T Connector. Flashed into T Con. And they've secured it. Tyler will have to retake T T Con to have any chance in this round, and slowly he's in a pretty good spot actually on those long angles of sight with the AK. Yeah, he managed to work the timing as well, and oh, gets his head ripped off. Annihilation was looking the other direction, trying to make his way into ladder, but just swung around and one need him. I think this one might be a little bit beyond somebody. And world peace. Okay. Okay. Get a 3k. Very nice round from him. Oh, okay. Yes, it's been about a, a minute. Um, but Mitch, how you doing? Um, so how many rounds does D13 need before you start to play? <laughs> <laughs> he just threw a packet of wet wipes at me. How many wet wipes are in there? Well, I'm going to kill 99.9% .9 of my germs. Thank you. I think got 99, 99 problems, but a germ ain't one of them. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Just saying. Um... <laughs> you didn't answer the question. It doesn't matter, they've already lost, man. Let it go. Ooh. Can it be this round, though? Ty Lu with de de Deagles and <laughs> pistols and <laughs> Mac 10s and now an AK. Don't know about that, though. Organ hand, world peace. Certainly setting out to do a bit of a mission. Yeah, yeah, somebody gets cleaned up as well. World peace. Look, I, I love it, mate. You're doing great. He's getting a lot of kills. Mm. But where was this before they were losing 13-2? True. True. Um, he's warming up. All right. Let's see him next map then. I'm ready. What did Tyloo pick again? Huh? Vertigo. 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 Yeah. All right. Vertigo. Much smaller map. Much more up and down skis than this one. This one's pretty up and down skis. Nah. Not as much as Vertigo. Is that up and down ski? Ooh. There's a lot of down ski. Straight to the grave to me. 
the death dealer. Oh, okay. Tamir gets it done. World Peace with one of his own. Look at somebody with the quick switch at the wrong time. Could have had that one on a silver platter. Couldn't track Tamir jumping off the ladder. And there it is, D13 with a fifth, but still 10 rounds in the deficit. Yes, quite a deficit to work with. Tyler, we've got the guns now as well. Not a huge amount of util here. Just a few smokes, a couple of flashes. Some are yet to buy. What's he going to go for? Here's the IGL. That's a bit of a think. AK and a little bit of utility option. So is this around? Is it 16-5? The kind of scoreline that would... Feel like I'm at bingo right now. Probably be a little bit more inside of the realms of possibility than what we saw against the likes of Beyond last time in the first round. Oh, that was almost a free kill for Hastika, but he drops that smoke and falls back. Actually caught Tyler trying to set up for a run boost, so that could have been two kills. Yep. Right there. But it wasn't. But it wasn't, no. Very cautiously played. <clears throat> what does Tyloo go for here? Doing a bit of a 2-1-2. Two, two. Or, yeah, 2-1-2. Two, two. No real inners control yet, though. I think they're looking to split that out as bomb site Soon. You know, molly somebody out of his cell. Maybe retake it, try, or with a flash. Wouldn't mind seeing it. Oh, it's just gonna smoke it off. It's gonna slow Tyloo down a little bit. Because they really want to go for this SL outside split, I think. Although they are starting to group up back toward inner, maybe. Thirty seconds. Very thorough. Hoping to punish D13 for any over aggression. And it looks like Summer was going to try to sell the fake over towards B. Three defenders invested towards that B site. Shot comes out from World Peace, who tries to deny the cross, but wins the engagement eventually. Okay, first blood oh. with 15 seconds remaining. He manages to find the lineup as Dan King takes down Attacker. No, he is going to be so devastated with that one. Three seconds to plant, and the bomb is not in control of somebody. Let's see. Oh, he will go down before the timer hits zero, so at least that's something for Tyler, something for somebody. <laughs> that was a really funny one, Mac. Who? Oh, when? <laughs> Hell. Why <laughs> am I here? I asked myself. Because you begged me the class I am Beijing this year. You begged me. Don't know about you, but I'm here to have a good time. We like to party. You're not having a good time? I found out how long it takes to get to Beijing <laughs> from Shanghai. I don't know about you, but that's something new to me. That is something new to me as well. I've never In actually been car? to Beijing. In what car? Oh, we'll have to buy one. Buy one? You're going to pull some funds? You know, they've actually got a lot of electric cars in China I don't have now. any. Electric. Dude, they have... I mean, when we went to Shanghai, there wasn't... I mean, there wasn't that. But. What's, what's like a native Chinese animal that we could ride on? <laughs> could we tame it? A native Chinese animal that we could ride on. Yeah, that we could like tame, train to just carry us between the two. Attacker. Ride on's a Pokemon. Then we can an sell it, and it'll be like <laughs> it'll be like um. <laughs> Go with attacker. He can carry you anywhere. Okay, True. Look, fellas, this He's might an animal that be, can't be tamed. This might actually be the last round of the half. Oh, it really could. Um, and map, I guess, in that instance as well, because this could be 16 for Tyloo. They've got bomb plant down. Annihilation, waiting for the peak from somebody, but it's going to be a double peak from Tyloo, if anything. Ooh, okay, Tamir brings it back. Annihilation with another, as somebody tried to peek from the back of Grey. But Attacker's still in the mix, and he's had a bit of a slower half, considering. Now, Annihilation, great cover from the top, and retake. Tamir as well, another. Three for Annihilation, two for Tamir, and seven for D13. So That's, that's a great 3v5, to be honest. Well-structured, good utility to lock down some of those angles. And Annihilation, he doesn't do anything fancy. He Oops. just right-clicks his orb, and he puts it on the spot. Okay, yeah, Mac, what's up? He's doing, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's almost positive. I know. He's sending D13 he's in the right direction. Yeah, he's good. They used to have these other players called Rate and and Score on their team as well. Yes, very strong players. But not there anymore. We had the Great Mongolian Shuffle of 2020. I'm not sure D13 won the Shuffle. OK. 
Okay. Zach is being sent. Yeah, he is so far onto site with nothing to stop him. Smoke oh. the back of green enough to at least deny some vision, but Tamir able to find two. Now, is this the last round? Maybe not just yet. Shinobi chimes in with another summer on 25 HP. Could be easy pickings for D13, but Annihilation gets his head ripped off, and it's all up to Shinobi to win in the one on two. It's a good shot from Summer indeed to bring it back to the one on two, and somebody will clean house for Tai Lu. 16 to 7. The shirts are still on. The hard work hasn't started yet for Tyloo, but maybe it will 